Welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. I'm the keeper of the home here at 4D Farms, where we are all about faith, family, home, and farm. I hope you find something on our channel that will encourage you and inspire you on your journey. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit like and subscribe, and be sure to turn that little notifications bell on so you'll get notified every time a brand new video is uploaded. We hope to see you in each and every one. Thanks for watching. Hey y'all, Tracy here with Keeper of the Home at 4D Farms. In today's video of What's for Supper, I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to be using some of my home canned things in a recipe, okay? So I'm going to be putting to use a jar of my homemade enchilada sauce. I'll, di I'll make a disclaimer in just a second. A jar of my home canned roasted peppers and a jar of home canned kidney beans, okay, in an enchilada pasta dish, okay? Okay, <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to call it. Now, disclaimer on this jar of enchilada sauce. This is not my recipe. I do not get the credit for this recipe. Pioneer Woman gets the credit for this enchilada sauce recipe. It is in one of her cookbooks, and it breaks down everything, picture tutorial and everything in her cookbook. She also has it on her blog, okay? Picture tutorial directions, everything, okay? She she even has it on one of her shows and you can uh, watch it on the Food Network, okay, how she makes it. I, when we grow tomatoes, I will just reserve a bunch of tomatoes to where I can make a big batch and implement her recipe. And then all I do is turn around and jar it up and pro water bath process it. That's all I do. So she gets the full credit for this recipe, okay? You can Google it. You can look it up. You can go watch her show where she makes it. You can get one of her recipe books. And it's all written in there. I have it in one of these books. But I made a whole batch of it one year and just jarred it up and canned it. Water bath processed it, okay? So I do not get the credit for the that recipe, okay? I just jarred her recipe up and I made it and then jarred it up and put it in our pantry, okay? But this is my recipe for my home canned um, roasted peppers and then when we can kidney beans or pinto beans and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to be putting those to use and I'm going to be making just an enchilada dish, uh, enchilada pasta dish, and I'll give you some hints um, stay towards the end of the video or somewhere in the video. I'm going to be giving you some hints on other things that you can do with these and repurposing the leftovers when the family gets tired of eating the pasta dish that you made of how to repurpose leftovers and make it a different way. Okay, so y'all stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I'm going to take a pound of the, um, brisket that my husband broke down catch that video uh how to break down a brisket and turn it into ground beef or whatever um you can use anything you want to you can use ground beef you can use ground deer you can use ground chicken ground turkey sausage if you want to whatever you need a ground beef or something of that sort um, you're also going to need some kind of pasta shells, okay? Like, uh, you can use the shells. You can use a, the, uh, elbow macaroni, peony noodles, rotini, um, pasta. Any pasta of your choosing, okay? So, what I'm going to do is, uh, taco seasoning. You're going to need that. I don't, you can use the packets if you want to. I don't have any packets. I just know what goes in taco seasoning. So, I'm going to get all my seasonings out. And then, I'm going to just do some pre-things. And then, we'll get started with the rest of it, okay? You're going to brown your ground beef, ground turkey, whatever you're using. You're going to brown it, drain it, put it back into your, uh, um, uh, Skillet, is that what it's called? Put it back into your pan, okay? Then you're going to put your taco seasoning, okay? Because this is going to be like Mexican, okay? So you're going to want that 
taco effect, okay, with the enchilada sauce, okay? So, um, get your ta packet of taco seasoning or whatever, or you can Google homemade taco seasoning, which is what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to put it all in there, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead, brown my ground beef, uh, or this ground brisket, I'm going to put my taco seasonings in, drain it, and then put my taco seasonings in there, get it ready, okay? Then, I'm just going to be using elbow macaroni, and I'm going to get it boiled and drained, and then we will go to the next step, okay? And then we'll just work this whole thing together, okay? While the meat is um, browning and the noodles are starting to boil, I'm going to take my jar of home canned kidney beans, and I'm going to drain and rinse, okay? Because these are just going to get thrown into the pasta when they're done. So I'm going to do that. Y'all, I love having pinto beans and kidney beans on hand just for purposes like these, okay? I take out, you can substitute and use pinto beans in these if you want to. You can add things like, I'm using kidney beans. You can use pinto beans. You can use black beans, okay? Uh, I'm just using what I have on hand, y'all. So I'm going to add kidney beans. Um... Yeah, you can use any of those, okay? So I've got these rinsed. I'm going to let them drain. Meat's browning. It's sizzling. Macaroni is coming up, okay? And I'm going to get my other jars ready. Uh, I'm going to be adding our roasted peppers to it and the enchilada sauce. Uh, let's see. Taco seasoning. I use cayenne pepper, uh, granulated garlic, ground cumin, just a little, okay? Smoked paprika. You can use regular paprika if you want to. Uh, let's see. Uh, of course, chili powder and granulated onion. I feel like there's one more, but I can't put the finger on it. But anyway, these are good right here. So, uh, let's see. And then to top this off on our plate, we're just going to top with a little bit of cheese of your choice, cheddar, whatever, shredded, and some sour cream, okay? So, but stay tuned. I'm going to tell you how, like, when they get tired of eating this pasta, you can turn it into something. At repurpose and remake it for it's like a whole new dish and they'll never know it, okay? You can also add in things like olives, black olives. You can add onions if you want to. Y'all can add anything to this. You can add canned corn. That's an idea. I'm not, I'm not going to add canned corn. I'm just going to leave it just like this, okay? You can add canned corn to it. Just drain it and rinse it, okay? You can soup this up any way you want to. I'm just wanting to use my homemade enchilada sauce tonight, uh, or Pioneer Woman's enchilada sauce tonight, okay? And and just making like a Mexican dish, okay? So that's still browning. Macaroni's coming up. These are drained. As soon as that's done, I'm going to drain the hamburger meat, and I'm going to add my spices to it, okay? I was just going to give you two little notes. First, I don't have the measurements on the macaroni noodles that I used, y'all, the elbow macaroni. I'm just doing a serving enough for two. But that was a pound of the ground brisket. Number two, you don't have to use the taco seasoning packets, y'all. If you buy the fajita mix seasonings, They've just about got the same seasonings in it, y'all. So if you've got that on hand, that works great too, okay? All right, y'all. I've got my noodles boiled, drained, back in this pot. I'm going to add my brown hamburger meat with the taco seasonings. Y'all, this is going to come together so easy. I'm going to put that over there. I am going to put in the enchilada sauce already, okay? Y'all, I'm just going to eyeball it because <laughs> um, I don't want it dry, okay? I think it's going to take this whole jar, y'all. It's going to take the whole jar because I don't want it dry. So, there goes a whole jar of my enchilada sauce. Bye-bye. But, y'all, I smelt this as soon as it opened, and it smells so good, y'all. All right? So we're gonna give that a stir, okay? Now, now, oh, and it splashed, okay. Next, I'm gonna add in my jar of kidney beans, okay? Then I'm going to be adding some of our roasted peppers, 
Let me get a fork. I'm going to add just some of our roasted peppers, and I do want some of that oil in there to give it some extra flavor. Oh, yeah, y'all. And like I said, to this, y'all, you can add anything you want to. You can add some corn. You can add some olives, okay? Add whatever you want. Oh, y'all, this is coming together so good. And then you're just going to stir this, and y'all are going to let it hang out until everything incorporates together, okay? Y'all, how easy is that? How easy was that? You can put anything in here that you want to, but that enchilada sauce, y'all, is the bomb, okay? And then, of course, my roasted peppers, okay? So I'm gonna let this hang out here just a little bit and then let it just incorporate all the seasonings and the spices and the flavors, and then we'll plate this up, okay? And then I'll tell y'all something else you can do with this when they get tired of leftovers, okay? Okay, y'all, while that is, I, I've kept you in suspense long enough. While that is simmering, I'm going to go ahead and tell you how to take care of your leftovers. After you've already eaten this meal, maybe one to two times, and everybody's like, this again, y'all know, I'm so tired of leftovers. Okay, <laughs> let me tell y'all what to do. Repurpose your leftovers. Create a whole new meal, they'll never know, okay? Number one, when they get tired of leftovers and you've got megatons left, let's say you've made too much spaghetti. <laughs> okay? We are all guilty. We've made too much spaghetti because you never can eyeball it just right. You grab too many noodles and you're left with a bunch of leftovers, okay? Let's say I'm going to have a bunch of this leftover because it looks like a lot and it's just two of us eating it. So, yeah, we may get tired of leftovers for the first few nights. The first thing that you can do... Put the rest of that stuff in an airtight container or a, uh, like a freezable container or one of those uh, silver aluminum things, okay? The roasting pans, whatever. Freeze it, okay? Wrap that sucker up in, a, in a saran wrap first, then aluminum foil, okay? Then write on the outside what it is. You've already got a meal for later, Okay, and you can pull that baby out of the freezer uh, on a busy day, school night, work night, something like that, when you're just going to be rush, 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 and you're thinking like, aha, wait a couple of weeks, though. Let it kind of die down a little bit, Shh. okay? Give it a couple of weeks, and then you're like, I got something I can pull out of the freezer. Get it out of the freezer that morning. Let it be thawing out all day long. As soon as you get home in the evening, Slap that thing in the oven on the warm and just let it heat up. Or, since it's already cooked, let it, you know, and, and after it's thawed out, throw it on a plate. Everybody get what they want. Put it in the microwave. Sit down and eat your supper. Okay? <laughs> Appreciate what your mama did, okay? Eat that baby, okay? So, freezing it first is an option, okay? When they get tired of leftovers, do something else with it. You can either go ahead and do this like maybe on the third or the fourth night and you haven't frozen it yet. This is what you can do. Put it in a casserole dish, okay? Throw gobs of cheese on top of it and then turn around and put it in the oven and bake it. It'll be an enchilada pasta bake, okay? <laughs> there you go. There's number two. All right, now, y'all, you can add more toppings to it. After you do the bake, okay, add more toppings to it, okay? Turn it into something else. You can add more stuff to it. You can add more inside it. You can add more stuff to the top of it. You got your little cheese. If you don't put the cheese on top and use it as a bake, okay, y'all, you can turn this into like a layered salad. You can put the pasta in a casserole dish again. Then put lettuce on top. Then put some uh, olives on top, like black olives, Rotel tomatoes. Uh, you can use green olives. Chunk up you some onions on top. And then sprinkle you some cheese on top. Dollop of sour cream. And it's almost like that seven-layer salad. You see where I'm going with that? Make it a layered pasta salad. Y'all, get creative with your leftovers. Repurpose it, turn it into something else, and you're not throwing money down the drain, okay? So just a recap, 
freeze them first. Pull them out later for another meal on a busy night. Pair it with some bread or some chips and salsa, whatever. Throw, slap some cheese on it and bake it, okay? Or do like the, the add some more things to it. Do like the layer pasta salad. So there you go. Y'all, stop throwing money down the drain, okay? Use it up. But just give it a little bit, okay? To just pull out later and say, oh, y'all, how oh, spreads a flower on your face, you know, like, pew, pew, like that, where you look like you've just been slaving in the kitchen all day, okay? And then pull it out later and, oh, y'all, oh, I'm so hot. I'm so tired. I worked so hard on this. <laughs> Shh, okay? All right, y'all. I'm going to finish letting this simmer. We're going to plate this up and we're going to do a taste test, okay? Just, I just thought of something else. Just another little side note, y'all. Sometimes when you're cooking something, you can actually, on purpose, make extra, double or triple the recipe and batch cook on purpose and put them in the freezer to have like meal prep, freezer meals for later on busy nights. Just double or triple your recipe, okay? When you get them all separated, eat one now, save two or three for later for those busy nights. You'll thank me later, okay? All right, y'all. I've got mine plated up. I'm not going to tilt it too much. I've got some cheese on top, and it has melted. I got a dollop of sour cream on top, and we're going to see what this tastes like. Y'all, it didn't take long for this meal to come together at all. Oh, I want one of them peppers right there. And along with some of that sauce and that cheese, y'all see, oh, y'all see that string of cheese. <laughs> I love cheese, y'all, I'm cheesy. I love cheese. Okay, I see that pepper there too. It's gonna be hot, so I'm gonna blow on this. Okay. <laughs> I love that cheese. All right, we're gonna say. <laughs> okay. Y'all, her sauce is the bomb. Y'all look up her recipe online, okay? If you've got one of her books, it's in there, okay? Her sauce is the bomb. Y'all, this didn't take long to come together at all. This is kind of like your own version of Hamburger Helper. Did you know you can make your own Hamburger Helper just by putting your own stuff in it? Almost like this, okay? Just an enchilada pasta, okay? And put anything in it that you want to, and maybe the kitchen sink if you want to, okay? Y'all, this came together so easy. You can pair it with a side salad or some bread, to, uh, chips and salsa, tortillas, whatever, tortilla chips. Oh, y'all can throw some tortilla chips in here. Oh, that's another thing. When you get ready to repurpose it, y'all, crunch up some tortilla chips on top of it or in it and then smother it in um, shredded cheese on top. Put that in your bake. Oh, that was an idea, y'all, because we're going to have plenty of leftovers, so I'm going to need to repurpose this somehow. So that just gave me an idea. Okay, crunching up tortilla chips and putting in it, and then putting cheese on top and baking it. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, I just gave myself an idea. <laughs> okay, y'all, this didn't take long to come together at all. So y'all go make y'all some of this, okay? I will catch y'all in the next video, okay? Have a good one.